She really is one of the great actresses of the theater and of the movies. Elaine Stritch has appeared in Sail Away on Broadway, Company. She recently completed a Sail Away concert at the Carnegie Hall, and we are delighted to have her tonight as our guest on Theater Talk. Thank you, Michael. Welcome. And thank you, Susan. It's good to see you. Um, it is the uh, 100th anniversary of uh, Noel Coward's birth. You knew him well. You just completed Sail Away at Carnegie Hall. Tell us a little bit about Noel Coward and how you came to meet him, what you thought of him. I was doing Goldilocks, which is a real saga period of my life. Good, good things and bad things mm -hmm. happened. A little bit more tilted towards the you-know-what. <laughs> uh, but he came up to see me, and he said one of the funniest things ever. And I, I'm going to tell you, because I'm, uh, I don't have as much fear of people, places, and things as I used to. He said, uh, he came in my dressing room, and I knew who he was, God knows, but I didn't know quite who he was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I had a guy of that kind of... He came in my dressing room, and then he said, um, uh, with him was Robert White and all the biggies connected mm -hmm. with the show. And he said, um, I have to say this to be very, very honest with all of you. You have no book, no lyric, <laughs> no, <laughs> no this, no that, no score, no He was just absolutely vicious, just like theater talk is sometimes. <laughs> I watch it all the time. You've got a lot of Noel Coward directness in you. Thank you. And he said, you've got this, and you've got this, and you've got this, and you've got this. And he said, you have a very, very, a, a brilliantly talented young actress who is sitting in her dressing room drinking a Dewar's and soda and crying. Mm. Something is wrong. <laughs> and I tell you, it was like your white prince coming in on a horse. And that was the start of a long friendship. Yeah, right, and it, but it was poetic justice reigned supreme. He really did. I didn't have the guts to. I didn't know what. I didn't know. Anyway, um, it, it, as you say, it began a, a, just a great, not only a work relationship, but a great friendship. Well, you know, you're, you're one of the great wits of the theater, and so was he. I mean, did you, you must have had a great time just sitting around having a few drinks and well, it was laughing doing, at everything. Yeah, I was <laughs> doing what comes naturally. He's such a sensitive man that he, he took me to the Drake Hotel. Remember the Barbary Room? Are either of you old enough to remember that? <laughs> Heard of it. <laughs> yeah, and Noel and I sang together the mm -hmm. night before we went into rehearsal. Uh, what could put you more at your ease more than an experience like that? And that man was so smart. He knew how scared I was. Yeah. And he said, I'll go out and have a few thousand with, uh, with Elaine, and then <laughs> she'll relax, and I'll relax. And then I surprised the hell out of him. I was on time for rehearsal the next morning. Because <laughs> I knew <laughs> No that hangover? I, yeah. I'll tell you something Noel Coward said to me, which in retrospect I'm beginning to understand. Didn't make any difference how many parties I went to or how high I kicked my heels up. He said that Elaine Stritch is one of the most disciplined actresses. He said it in his diaries mm. of, 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 of that he'd ever worked with in his life. And that's like your parents saying something to you that you never knew they felt, yeah. you know, when they said it. It was just, it was absolutely wonderful. What was it like for you to go back in this recent um, concert at Carnegie Hall oh. to revisit? Let me take this, Jack. <laughs> Oh to my. revisit Sail Away, a show that, uh, you know, he, he really sort of in some ways constructed for you in a way. No, I, I didn't realize the importance of that either when I did it. I didn't realize really who this man was, I, which was great, you know, um, because I learned. I didn't mm -hmm. know beforehand. I knew, I, I learned what an un unbelievable, sensitive, close to genius kind of c creator he was mm -hmm. of the uh, theater, both in... God knows in, in uh, his own country and certainly in this one, which he loved. Yeah. God, he loved this, yeah. this country. 